today we will learn about one important form of energy at the beginning of the class 5 level we learn different forms of energy like the electric energy heat energy light energy chemical energy etc and their uses now today we learn one important form of energy that is heat from the basic concept of it we can say that heat is a form of energy from the basic concept we can say that heat is a form of energy but this is not sufficient to define heat because also light is a form of energy and the sound is a form of energy so we have to say a particular important features that is only present in the heat and absent in all other forms of energy so we can say that heat is a form of energy which causes either sensation of hotness or coldness when we absorb it or release it so heat is that form of energy if we just go just behind it the invention of this form of energy then we see that at the early age when the different forms of energies are invented this form of energy also invented and the term as fluid as it can flow from one body to the another later near about 61 years later this fluid now termed as calorie which is today known to us as the heat so this is the history of the form of energy now it is known to us as the heat energy let us consider two bodies two bodies body a and the body b body a and body b now body a has the q amount of heat q1 is the amount of heat amount of heat amount of heat of the body a q1 and the amount of heat of the body that of q2 as heat is a form of energy so it can flow from one body to the another when the two bodies a and b either in direct contact or they are in indirectly contact so heat can flow from the body that is a as it contains more amount of heat than that of the b so that is the thermal state of the body a and b as a result here we say that a is considered to be as the hot body this is the hot body and this is the cold body but it is better to say a is the hotter body and b is the colder body because here the amount of heat contained by the body a comparatively more than b that's why it is better to say hotter body and colder body this heat contained by the body a represents the body a in the higher thermal state of it this thermal state of the body is called the temperature so at the beginning of it here we learn heat and temperature so temperature is the temperature it is a thermal state of a body which determines the direction of flow of heat from the one body to the another or in other word we can say that the degree of hotness or coldness of a body which determines the direction of flow of heat from one body to the another so temperature is the thermal state thermal state or
डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस और कोल्डनेस ऑफ ए बॉडी फ्रिज डिटरमाइन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ हिट दिस इज द टेम्परेचर बट हाउ कैन यू मेजर दिस हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ हिट कॉन्टेंट बाई द बॉडी नाउ द मेजरिंग डिवाइस मेजरिंग डिवाइस actually the amount of heat content by a body can never be measured we can measure the amount of heat transfer from the one body to the another body so the amount of heat content by a body can never be measured we can measure the amount of heat transfer from one body to the another body that is for heat amount of heat transfer amount of heat transfer that can be measured and the corresponding device is called calorie meter calorie meter is the device by which we can measure the amount of heat transfer from one body to the another for temperature for temperature for temperature the device is used to measure the temperature of an object of a body is called thermometer thermometer okay now if we can measure this so there should be particular units for heat and temperature there should be particular unit for heat and temperature units of heat units of heat in mks unit that is joule simply denoted by j in cgs unit this is calorie we write this simply as cal and the fps unit of it this is b t u the full form british thermal unit similarly temperature units of temperature Units of temperature in MKS unit. This is Kelvin, represented by K in CGS unit. This is degree centigrade, and in FPS unit. FPS unit. this is degree fahrenheit all these units are used by according to the name of the scientist james prescott joule calorie lord kelvin celsius and ca fahrenheit so these are the units of heat these are the units of temperature heat and temperature are very correlated if a body has large amount of heat then the thermal state of the body will be greater so when we say that a body is hot body then the temperature of the body if we consider the body a is the hot body this is the hot body which is also better to say hotter body then the body will have temperature 
which is greater than the other body let this is consider b which is taken as the cold body or the colder body hot body and the colder body which has temperature here represented by t2 when we say that hot body and cold body that means according to this here t1 must be greater than t2 that means the thermal state of the a is high because the a contains more heat and the thermal state of the body b is corresponding or compared to a is less that's why the temperature t2 is less so heat is the cause and temperature is one of the effect of it it is the cause temperature is one of the effect of it and if we just think or remember the fact that is we learn already in class 5 level one use of heat energy it is very easy it is very easy when we say that one use of heat heat energy is used to cook food very simple okay so this is the relation between heat and temperature these are the measuring devices for the heat and temperature these are the units of heat and temperature okay i think that it helps all of you to understand about the heat and the temperature and their relation and their corresponding units from this you can easily write the differences between heat and temperature okay